one of the things that you can do inside of Shotcut is add in texts. So to do that, you can go around and then select out uh, the video layer that you want to add the text to and then go around and click on filters or access out filters from the view menu on the top. So once that is done, you can press the plus button right here and you can go around and in the search area, you can type in text right here. So let me just type in text uh, so that I get the text options right here. So in my case, I want to add in a simple text. So I'm just going to go around and click on it. And over here, you can see text has been added out. So here you can see that time code is added out right now, but you can go around and you can use some presets over here as well for animations. But for the text, you can go around uh, and slide it from the uh, left right here and play this around. And you can see that the sliding in and everything can be added over here as well. So let me just go around, keep it to default. And over here right now, the time code text is being displayed right here. You can also go around, press enter. And let's say, for example, you want to add in frame right here, press enter. And uh, let me just go around, add in frame right here. And then you can add in date over here as well. And even the file name right here. So all of those details can be generated out here. Or you can go around and type in your own text. So I'm just going to go around and type in tutor tube right here. And this is what you have, as you can see. So now you can go around over here and then you can resize up the text and keep it wherever you want as well. So you can see that this is what I have right here. So you can go around, resize out the text over here, just like this and keep it wherever you want as well. So just like this, you can arrange it out and then you got a text box. So here you can choose around the font color as you wish and from the custom color as well press OK and the font color will be applied. Similarly, you can go around and choose different type of, uh, let's say, for example, fonts right here, press OK and that is applied over there as well. You can also go around, use the font size over there. So just like this, you can go around and you choose a, a font size for the size over here as well. So you can go around. So I'm just going to go around and then disable the font size right here. You can also work around with the outline of the text as well and apply a separate outline and you can change around the thickness of the outline as well. So you can go around and then work around with the background. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and press OK and you can see the background right here and you can work around with the padding as well which increases the dis uh, difference between the top and bottom and left and right, as you can see right here. You can work around with the position over here uh, of the text box, which is uh, the same as if you were to click and drag this, because that is exactly what you see. And you can work around with the size of the text box right here, which is exactly uh, uh, this value right here. So this is according to the value right here, while this is more visual. So you can go around a line, uh, work around with the horizontal fit over here. So if um, there is a place to fit, it'll actually fit out everything. And then you can go around, uh, uh, fit it in the middle or at the top, as you can see right here. And that is how it works. Let me just go around and then select out a text right here and choose font size. So I can go around, keep it at the center, on the left, on the top right here, just like this. And click on the reset button to reset out everything, as you can see right here as well. So that is how you can add in uh, 2D text that is simple text inside of Shortcut. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.